Hi, it's John again, Junior Game Creators. Going to have a little look at one of our glitch hunts. This is a game where one of our Junior Game Creators sent us one of their design canvases. It was from a session we did down in London at Soho Square, part of the Soho Create Festival. And we created this great, great little game, but we seem to have a few little bugs that have crept in. So the idea is to try and find those glitches. So to begin with, we're going to play the game. So go to Scratch. The URL for this game with the glitches in uh, can be found below this video uh, or in our members section from uh, uh, of our uh, Junior Game Creator members site. And then once you're on that page, click on this little button here and that'll take you to full screen so that you can play the game rather than seeing it you, you can toggle between the two there and we're just going to play the game and then let's see if we can discover any bugs any glitches so go ahead and play the game i'm going to do the same here you might want to go away and do it for real on the game and then we can compare some notes okay so here's my version of uh the, playing the game just going to maximize it I'm going to play the game the little tune comes in which is great I've got to collect the green and yellow cells fuel cells to gain fuel and I've got to dodge the orange and the red ones or I lose fuel and I've got to press space to start so I'm going to hit the green flag there's our little uh, tunes coming in I'm going to press space and I'm going to move around I can that's pretty cool it's got a screen wrap on it but I do seem oh I collected a green one there and got two when I collected an orange one it made a nasty noise but it didn't take any points off so there's something going there and I also seem to be going slower left than when I go right which is really quick I also haven't had any fuel cells come down for a while so that was a yellow one, so that gave me some points. But I got to two somehow, so there's definitely something weird going on. There's a green... Ah, I got a green one, and it's taken me to zero. And the, no, and the music stopped. So it appears as though our music has stopped there. Let's see if I can get another one. Uh, and then we can start having a look at some of these things that are going on. Ah, so I got a yellow one. Got my triumph. And then it goes back to the start again. So that's pretty good. I can press space and have another go. So there's a couple of things. Let's start with the fix for the, the left and right. There's definitely something going on with the spaceship. So I'm going to stop, take myself out of full screen mode, and then click see inside. You might want to click a, make sure you're signed in. I'm not signed in at the moment, but you might want to sign in and, and click remix. You've got your own version of this game. Uh, and now let's have a look. So quick, it's always worth having a quick explore. So I've got a backdrop. I've got some bits of code on there to do with the sounds. On the spaceship, I've got various, when I receive win, okay. When I start, it's hiding it. When I receive new game, it's showing it. And here, here's the left and right arrow. And it's always good to just read the code out loud. So here, forever. So keep doing whatever's in this loop in this big area here it's going to keep doing that 30 times per second if the left arrow is pressed then change that's a variable so it looks as though we've got a variable inside of there yeah under data i can see an x velocity variable so that's uh, worth having a look at change x velocity by minus 0 0.5 if the right arrow is pressed then change x velocity by two so that that's a definitely something going on there that i think we can easily adjust so i'm going to change that to one and i'm going to change that to one that should and when if you make a change like that always test it so click on the green arrow pressing spark start there oh now i've got a problem i can i can't go the other way i can only go one way so let me just stop there. Ah, yes. If I'm going the other way, yeah, left arrow should be minus one. That was silly. My mistake. So a little test again. Press space. I've noticed that that music 
carries on playing in the background as we're going through there. But now my movement is a lot better. I can move left and right quite slickly. It's balanced. Still got the screen wrap, which is good. Oh, I hit the orange there and it, it seemed to give me two points. I'm supposed to lose points if I hit the red and orange. So there's definitely something going there. I caught a yellow there, didn't seem to get any points. We've definitely got something going really wrong with this fuel cell here. But before we do that, let's see if we can just fix that, that music. We saw on here we had this. So when I receive start, play this sound until done. When I receive new game, keep playing this sound until fuel is equal to four it seems like you've got one two three four yeah so that would make sense and then finally when i win do this so i think because this must be quite a long song if we look at the sounds inside of here yeah this is quite a long track of the different sounds inside of here um, so I think what we need to do here, there's a really neat little, you might not have used this yet, but under the sounds section, you can actually stop all sounds. That will mean that if that's still going until done, as soon as you actually, so press the space bar and it broadcasts that new game message, it's going to stop all the sounds and then it'll start playing this one. So let's just test that. So there's my track, press space. That's better. The intro tune is now finished. And now I can scroll left and right. So let's, oh, missed that one. Now you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm not very good. I'm sure you're, oh, you're better than me. Oh, I didn't want that one. I know it was a red and orange one. But let's just have a look now and see if I can catch one of these. There is a long wait. Let's see if we can fix that. So there's a long wait before the spaceship throws down these uh, power cells. Yeah, there it is. I can see that straight away. I've got that wait, pick random, half a second to 10 seconds. I think that's too much. Let's bring that down to five. Then it's creating a clone. Then it's going through all this other bits of code. So that that is much, much better, I believe. Uh, here's the bit here. We'll just test that before. Yeah, I, I've, I've spotted the problem down here, but I'll come back to that in a second. So, um, so I've changed the uh, 0.5 to five seconds. Now we should get, so just test that. And now we should find that we get things coming, oh, that's better, a little bit quicker. I might have to wait five seconds. Oh, that, that should have taken fuel off. So there's definitely something going wrong there because I ended up with two. Then I've ended up with nothing. So let me just stop there. Um, there's something going on with when we're collecting those and something that you can do to help you um, troubleshoot a game as it's playing is to actually have a look at if you actually click data and then click the tick next to your variables it'll actually put that variable onto the screen for you to have a look at so I'm going to restart it you'll notice fuel has now gone to zero now I'm going to start playing and that just helps me kind of debug. Ah, so I hit the red one there and it gave me one point, which isn't what we want. But the fuel cell is showing two points. Now I've got two and now it's showing two, which is correct. Now I'm on three and it's showing three. Now let me see if I can catch a red one. I'm gonna leave that one. Oh, and I've won. So we've definitely, definitely got a problem there. And it seems as though I'm getting a point for every single cell that comes through. So let me have a look here. So on, I'm still on the fuel cell because that's the object that we're, we're dealing with. And every time I touch, catch it, because it's touching the spaceship, if it's the costume is less than three. So if you go to the costumes, I've got four costumes. I've got the two that I get fuel from and the two that I don't. So if it's less than three, it must be these two, means I should get a point or get some fuel. However, there it is. However, so if touching spaceship and the costume is less than three, then play a sound, change fuel, get rid of that clone, brilliant. However, if it's not that, then do this. So it must be the red or the orange one then. And look, we've got a one there and not a minus one. Now let's test that. So we've made a little change inside of there. Let's see what we can do. Press start, 
my music stops. And this must be, oh, I don't want that one. That was a red one. Yellow, I love that. Oh, fuel one, but the gauge has gone to two. That's two and two, so that's okay. So our variable seems right. Let me see if I can lose some energy. I've got to try and catch one of the uh, one of the ones I should be dodging. Oh, it's easier said than done. I'm gonna get that one. So I'm on three. Let's see if I can. F oh, I missed that one. That's okay. It wasn't an orange one. I went to four there. I get to five, and I won. Okay, so. Uh, still something not quite right, but I think it's this fuel cell now. So I've clicked on the fuel cell. When I receive start set fuel to zero, that's good, that's, that's working. And then here, when I receive new game, switch costume to fuel. So let me just look at the costumes for this. There's the fuel one, that's the blank one. So when I get a new game, it sets it to zero, that's good. If the fuel is less than one, so if I've got a negative fuel, it just sets it to zero and then shows a zero empty fuel cell that's fine ah if fuel equals one then switch costume to fuel two well that's the two oh, okay we, i think we've cracked it so let's just follow this through if fuel equals one then switch costume to fuel one if it's two then set to two if it's three then set to three ah and then here we've got another one if fuel equals four then set fuel to four that looks like it should be a lot better. And I did I did suspect that if the fuel equals five, then broadcast win. I actually believe that should be four, because we can't get to five. Um, and that should do us quite nicely. So, um, so we've adjusted the code for the spaceship to make sure he scrolls left and right well. So that was good. Here's that little bit of code there that makes him wrap around the screen. So you might want to have a little investigate that and build that into your own game. Very simple little algorithm for you to use, uh, but you might be able to use that again and again. The code for the fuel cell was incorrect because we did not lose. We were adding one instead of taking one uh, fuel point away. Uh, and we discovered that by showing the variable. So I can now hide that and take that out of the way. Our spaceship was just doing its thing. There were no problems there. And then in our, in our algorithm to display the right costume, we had one, two, three, four, five costumes in here, but one of them was the blank one. Um, we were showing the wrong costume based on the variable that we were changing as we got and checking, sorry. So this forever loop's going on all the time, 30, 30 times a second, it's checking what the value of fuel is and then changing the costume to match. That was good. And then on this uh, final one, we had the wrong value in the test to see if we actually won the game to broadcast our win. And the only other piece we did that we changed was the stop all sounds. Uh, to make sure that our starting tune finished and allow the gameplay tune to start. So let's have a little uh, a little go at that. I'm going to hit play, press my space bar. Now I should, if, if I'm any good, interesting that the, the, there's a little bit of code in there, you might want to explore, explore this, where the, uh, the speed of the ones you want are slower than the ones you don't want. See if you can find that. I need one more, come on. One more to escape Jupiter. Ooh. Oh, oh no, I lost two then. So I've got to get a green one. There's one, thank you. I could do with the yellow, yellow would do. Don't want to get it, there it is. Yes, I escaped Jupiter. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just gonna stop there. Have a go yourself, see if you can find those bugs, but then don't stop there, customize it. Change the costumes, change the graphics, change some of the background, uh, have a go at putting some different, uh, maybe some power-ups that they can drop at different times that allow you to do different things. Um, experiment, create, have fun with it. Ta-ra for now. Good luck with the rest of your games and we'd love to see some of the games that you create as you take these further and further. If you have any problems, any questions, just get your parents to email us. Always willing to help and help you to uh, get unstuck if you get stuck. Anyway, 
Ta-ra for now, and we'll be back in a couple of weeks with some more projects.